Hello, Dr. Nysat here, and today we're going to deal with dishwashers that don't wash dishes properly. Naughty dishwasher. And this one is a Bosch. Oh, you can see me a bit there. Hello. And we're going to show you what to do to try and get those dishes sparkly clean. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, open the dishwasher. We're going to be cleaning three things here. The first one is the sprinkler. All right, now this is really easy to remove. You simply grab hold of the bottom, screw anti-clockwise and it should come out like that. Two bits, really easy. The next bit we're gonna look at, we're gonna read this drawer out. Now if you look in here, there we go, there are two parts that you need to be looking at. The first is this sprinkler here and you remove that simply by pulling it out like that. Really easy. The second bit is the filter which is here and you screw that again anti-clockwise and the whole thing should lift out like so. So three parts removed in about 20 seconds. Brilliant. And then we go to the sink area. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got here. First of all, pull out the filter. This one is actually pretty clean because I cleaned it out a couple of weeks ago. Now to clean that, all you do is run it under the tap, like so. You'll be able to feel the gunk here in the perforations. Give it a really good clean. I sometimes give mine a bit of a scrub. But you can see there's bits of food um, that have congealed on it. And when you look inside, it actually feels quite greasy. So you'll know when you come to take your filter out um, that it's quite dirty. Now you'll probably need to wash it for a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna do that because it'll take too much time. Next we move on to the spinny bits. Okay, this is the top one. And basically what you need to do is run water through it to make sure that all the holes here and here and here and here are clear and not blocked because that's a major cause of dishes not rinsing properly. Okay, so run water, we do it sideways like that. And you can see that the water is coming out the holes fine. All right, block these two up. Let it go, yep. Yeah coming through fine. Turn it around. Yep. It's coming through fine. So we know that's okay. Put that one back together. Um, this one is the bottom uh, sprinkler. And we're going to do the same again. Just basically um, where the water goes in, in the, wash, in the dishwasher, simply run water through it like that. And you'll be able to see, uh, one moment, the water coming through the spink, sprinkler holes, holes, which means they are clear. Great. So we've done all that. Um, we've cleaned both sprinklers and now we simply put it back together. Oops, that's it. So insert that back like so and we go back to the machine, the dishwasher. Sorry, my video my videoing skills are very poor. And pull out the top. Okay, so you've got the sprinkler, insert the attachment. Um, plug it onto the top fixture and turn. And there we go. 
to reinsert the filter, equally easy, take filter, put it back in the hole, like so. And screw to insert. That's clockwise. And with the bottom sprinkler, you simply just push it back down into the hole. Now, there we have a cleaned dishwasher. What I recommend you do next is run through a cleaning fluid. Now, I use this one, it's just a supermarket own brand. Um, you pour half of the bottle into the base of the dishwasher and then run it on a normal cycle. And hey presto, your dishes should be good as new.